Okay, there uh, here's something called um, an array initializer, and um, that in fact uh, it enables you to um, uh, create an array and initialize the values in it um, all in one go, and that's often a bit more convenient than having to set each individual element in the array. Um, now uh, it's quite simple, and it looks a bit like this. And uh, you'll notice you don't need to put new in front because if you think about it, there's enough information in there to to uh, know what the dimension and and the uh, size of the array is. And um, there's one additional thing to note, and that is uh, although you don't need a, a semicolon after uh, a right curly bracket, you do in this case. It's one of the exceptions. Um, so here, for instance, is an array, an array of integers, and uh, it's a two-dimensional array, and uh, it's got one, two, three, four elements in the top here, four, and then each of them is of size one. That's pretty straightforward. So it's four one and not one four. Um, uh, you can in in this. Uh, Position here, for instance, you can you can specify various expressions, and here's an example of that. Int i equals nine there, and uh, here's an integer array, and uh, what we're going to have here is nine, and then of course it's going to be ten and eleven there. So it's just uh, got three elements in there uh, of nine, ten, and eleven. Uh, here's a two-dimensional array. And you can have things, and of course it doesn't have to be the same size, you can put two elements in there and just one in there. And a couple of points to rem remember, uh, to note, um, uh, for convenience, um, these are all comma separated, and for convenience you can have a single trailing comma. If there is a single trailing comma, it's just ignored. That's uh, in fact a convenience for uh, various programs which may automatically generate these things. So. That's uh, sometimes useful. Uh, if you want to put null in, you can do that. That's no problem. Uh, that is a um, that's an array of length zero. Um, you can also put that in presence. That's a reference to that array. So there's that array sitting in there as well. So it's an array of an array, so you can certainly put an array like that in. Okay. Um, you can uh, you can of course set any of that lot to null. Oh yes, now the expressions which make this up are evaluated from the left to right through here. Okay, so um, something to bear in mind that may influence things. You don't normally see this, of course. <laughs> Ridiculously complex. Um, now, if you think about it, um, it's not actually possible to write an initializer for a multi-dimensional array with a zero length dimension unless unless that dimension is the last one. So you could do that, for instance, but you couldn't do that because a zero is not the last one. And if you think about that, that makes sense because there's a thing of length zero, you can't put anything of length three in there because the minute you put something in there, it's no longer length zero. Uh, here's another example. Um, uh, it's my type. Uh, there's an array of my type there. Uh, you can go and do a new there. You can put expressions like this in into the initializer. This is some sort of constructor, obviously, taking some parameters. Uh, you can just bung that in there, of course, and uh, null is quite happy again. Um, ah, yes, now uh, you can only use this form um, when declaring an array, so you can't use it in this instance here. Here we've declared it, and now we're trying to use the initializer, and it won't allow that. Give a compilation error. But um, there is a way around this, and uh, I'll show that in just a second.